transcription and translation genes provide information for building proteins they don't however directly create proteins the production of proteins is completed through two processes transcription and translation transcription and translation take the information in dna and use it to produce proteins transcription uses a strand of dna as a template to build a molecule called rna the rna molecule is the link between dna and the production of proteins during translation the rna molecule created in the transcription processes delivers information from the dna to the protein building machines transcription the process of copying genetic information from one strand of dna into rna is termed as transcription the machine is almost identical to dna replication but there is a difference in the use of only one strand of dna as their template if both strands transcripted sequence of amino acids in the proteins would be different and it forms double stranded rna which prevent translation transcription unit includes promoter structural gene and terminator promoter promoter is said to be located towards the 5 prime end and it is the dna sequence that provides binding site for rna polymerase and the reference is made with respective to the polarity of the coding strand second the structural gene structural gene flanks the space between the promoter and terminator and the last the terminator terminator is said to be located towards the 3 prime end that's downstream of the coding strand and it defines the end of the process of transcription process of transcription initiation rna associates with initiation factor sigma and bind to the promoter then start transcription elongation add the corresponding rna nucleotide to the growing rna of all the nucleotide identified in the dna module the rna polymerase is only capable of catalyzing the process of elongation termination rna polymerase associate with termination factor rho once the polymerase reaches the termination region the nascent rna falls off so also the rna polymerase this result in termination of transcription rna processing The transcribed RNA is known as the pre-mRNA. It is processed further to convert it into mature mRNA. RNA processing include capping, polyadenylation, splicing. Capping: a methylated guanine cap is added to protect the mRNA. It involves addition of methylated guanine. It occurs at five prime end of mRNA transcript. It protects the mRNA from degradation polyadenylation. Polyadenylation. The poly A tail also protects the mRNA from degradation. It involves the endonucleases cleave the mRNA at the specific sequence. The enzyme poly A polymerase facilitates the addition of several adenine nucleotides. Splicing. The non-coding sequences that is the introns are removed by spliceosome excision. The coding sequences or the exons join together by ligation. The several proteins can be made from a single pre-mRNA a mature mRNA is obtained at the end of transcription genetic code the codon is triplet 61 codons code for amino acid and 3 codons do not code for any amino acid hence they functions as stop codons some amino acids are coded by more than one codon hence the code is degenerate the codon is read in mrna in a contiguous fashion there are no punctuations the code is nearly universal for example from bacteria to human uuu could code for phenyl alanine some exceptions to this rule have been found in mitochondrial codon and in some protozoans aug has dual functions it code for methanine and it also acts as indicator codons uaa uag uga are stop terminating codons translation translation is the process of building a protein from the mrna transcript the protein is built as transfer rna bring amino acids one at a time to the ribosomal unit holding the mrna steps of translation 
initiation, elongation and termination. Translation proceeds in three phases. Initiation. The ribosome assembles around the target mRNA. The first tRNA is attached at the start codon. Elongation. The last tRNA validated by the small ribosomal subunit transfers the amino acid. The ribosome then moves to the next mRNA codon to continue the process creating an amino acid chain. Termination. When a stop codon is reached, the ribosome relaxes the polypeptide. The ribosomal complex remains intact and moves on to the next mRNA to be translated. Translational codons. A translation unit in mRNA is the sequence of RNA that is flanked by the start codon AUG and the stop codon and codes for a polypeptide. An mRNA moves in the direction of 5 to 3 stands. During this stage, complexes composed of an amino acid linked to tRNA sequentially bind to the appropriate codon in mRNA by forming complementary base pairs with the tRNA anticodon, thus marking the process of translation. Components of translation. The main components of translation include mRNA of both eukaryotes and prokaryotes, tRNA. It helps in sending commands or transferring the information between protein and nucleic acids. Ribosomes. It contains ribosomal RNA and proteins. Therefore, it is called the manufacturing unit of a cell. Enzymes. It is required for the formation of a peptide bond between the amino acids and also to attach amino acids to the accurate tRNA molecules. Proteins. They are the soluble factors which are required for proper initiation, elongation and termination of translation. Thank you.